become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to continue talking about the light dumbbell system and in particular how Eugene Sandow solved one of the biggest problems associated with performing the light dumbbell system correctly and that is the application of appropriate muscle control. Yes, after Eugene Sandow popularized the light dumbbell system, many people began to criticize the system having not achieved the desired results due to incorrect performance of the exercises which relies heavily on establishing a mind-muscle connection and then applying tension to the muscles at work voluntarily using one's mind as Eugene Sandow used to constantly state. Therefore, Eugene Sandow came out with a genius approach to solve this problem and that was the creation of his spring grip dumbbell as shown in this cartoon from one of his books which I will de uh, detail today. So today I'm going to talk about in particular the spring grip dumbbell and its use and hopefully this information will aid those who are trying the light dumbbell system uh, and hopefully it will help you achieve an even better result with this system. Enjoy. With the release of his book Sandow's System of Physical Training, Eugene Sandow introduced and popularized the light dumbbell system in the late 1800s. And although he had many successful students, he was also soon faced with criticism, with many disappointed beginners not achieving the expected results. Eugene Sandow, when teaching students in his own studio, realized that many beginners were simply going through the motions, so to speak, essentially moving their limbs and their body um, but because the dumbbells were so light and barely presented a stress or load on the practitioner, there was a common lack of muscular exertion while exercising or voluntary contraction. In essence, students did not have that mind-muscle connection for complete mus muscular control of the muscle being worked. In other cases, there were also reports and complaints of some students going blue in the face from too much exertion. So essentially Sandow found himself with a problem. How to teach students to voluntarily contract muscles at a desired, at a certain desired level, not too much and not too little, that will achieve the correct stimulus for growth when performing the light dumbbell system. Sandow's solution was presented in his second book, Strength and How to Obtain It, released and published in 1897, as shown here and is available on my website. He created the Spring Grip Dumbbell, which, as this ad from 1901 um, presented here, explains the Spring Grip Dumbbells are made in two halves connected by adjustable springs, thus forcing one when taking exercise to have every muscle at its proper tension, in addition to which many muscles are brought into action that would otherwise lie dormant. Eugene Sandow in this moment of genius realized that by forcing the practitioner to create tension in his forearms by gripping the two halves together of the spring grip dumbbell this created a contraction in the muscles being worked while performing the exercises of the light dumbbell system this meant that the student no longer had to establish a mind muscle connection or even learned this principle by the necessity of squeezing the dumbbell shut this instantly created a voluntary contraction and a, and, and, a, and more importantly an appropriate amount of tension during the exercise Eugene Sandow created a series of spring grip dumbbells for men women and children as shown in these ads the pressure of the dumbbell could be adjusted by removing or adding springs, which you can see, um, for example, the gentleman's spring grip dumbbell on the top left had up to seven springs. And by removing or adding springs, you can make it easier or harder to use depending on the level of strength that you had. And now, here's an image that I've pulled out from the internet. For example, we have here the gentleman's spring grip dumbbell set, which came in a beautiful box with a cleaning cloth an instructions booklet on the bottom right and this instruction booklet showed you how to use the spring grip dumbbell to perform the Sandow's light dumbbell system and it also came with an exercise chart that is uh, folded up and you can see on the top right the exercise chart and the instruction booklet are both available on my website and I'm going to talk about them a little bit later on 
The issue of lack of mind-muscle connection and creating appropriate tension while exercising was further highlighted by W.R. Pope in his publication, The Science and Art of Physical Development, published in 1902. This great little book gives further hints on how to perform Sandow's light dumbbell system correctly, plus details the diet and lifestyle habits one should incorporate for maximum success when training in the light dumbbell system. It's also available on my website. Now, if you've purchased Sandow's System of Physical Training and have started the Light Dumbbell System, I highly recommend uh, Eugene Sandow's second book, Strength and How to Obtain It, where he really does clarify these issues that a lot of the beginners were actually facing, and that is this confusion of how much appropriate tension one should apply when performing the Light Dumbbell System. This book goes into great detail. And that's another excellent book, as I mentioned earlier, was by W.R. Pope, The Science and Art of Physical Development, where he gives hints and tips for every single exercise of the light dumbbell system um, and I really think it really does help in the performance of the exercises of the light dumbbell system and finally another great little book that is now available is the original booklet that used to come with the spring grip dumbbell set and that is this booklet right in here in the middle instructions for using Sandow spring grip dumbbells and I think that although we don't have spring grip dumbbells nowadays available um, by simply substituting that with a light dumbbell of three to five pounds, I'm pretty sure that by combining the information of these books, you would be able to get great results um, and benefit from performing the light dumbbell system. All available, all of these books are available on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com. So I do hope that you have enjoyed this video, which addresses the issues, the major concerns, and the confusion in applying the correct amount of muscular tension when performing the light dumbbell system. Again, the lack of mind-muscle connection of a lot of beginners is one of the biggest issues and I hope that this video has served to um, address this issue. Uh, when I have actually presented these videos on Eugene Sandow's light dumbbell system, it, it still is the number one question. Eugene Sandow got these questions and I'm getting these questions as well. How much tension are you supposed to apply? Well, I hope that this video has answered this question and if it's not clear enough I'll say it again you're basically supposed to grip the light dumbbell with enough force that creates a voluntary contraction and that was the point of Eugene Sandow's invention by creating a spring grip dumbbell that forced you to close it this finally created a gripping action in the forearm which transferred itself to the correct amount of tension when performing the exercises again spring grip dumbbells are not available but as, as long as you understand this, that you have to grip the light dumbbell with sufficient force, um, it, you, will, you, you should get the results that Eugene Sandow was preaching. Again, if you want further clarification, the books are available, which Eugene Sandow used to sell. Uh, they are available on my website. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Book Room. Leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my research, on the bronze, silver, and golden era techniques of bodybuilding, strongmanism, etc., the history of physical culture, please donate via PayPal. You can, of course, again, visit my website if you want to um, purchase Sandow's books or any other book on old school bodybuilding courses and books. All of these that are out of print are now available on my website, and I keep uploading more and more every day. And uh, if you'd like to collaborate or get in touch, please email, especially if you want to pass on your books and magazines, memorabilia on old school bodybuilding and physical culture, please get in touch with me via email. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with NSP Nutrition and Old School Labs, please visit their websites. For NSP Nutrition, use the code GB20 for a 20% discount. And for Old School Labs, use the code BOOKWORM12 for a 12% discount of all their products. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo. I want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that 
Today, there's still not equipment like uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.